Hello everyone and welcome back to Starbound, the blind playthrough where I play Starbound with my eyes closed. Just kidding. This is a blind playthrough. I've never actually played this game before. Um, I have played it a tiny little bit just to get the hang of it, but yes, this is now episode 4 I believe. And we are on the ship and I made a bunch of crafting stuff last episode. Um, I did a quest, I died, uh, I successfully completed the quest, and yes, now I'm about to do another quest to get something useful, uh, some sort of tech. So let's beam down to the Ark. And let's go talk to that uh, guy that wants me to test out his dash tech, I believe it was. So let's see. He's over here. Two-stop teleshop. This is all locked right now. Okay. Alright. Are you ready to go to the obstacle course? Yes, I am. Thank you very much. Alrighty. Here we are. This obstacle course requires the use of the dash tech you have been given. To use it, double tap A or D to quickly dash left or right. Aha! Cool. Alright, so I guess you gotta... Yeah. You gotta... Oh! <laughs> so, those doors only open very briefly. Perhaps you should position yourself closer to the door before operating the switch and dashing through. Yeah. Thanks, Sale. Taking immense concentration, not really. I can't even speak. I couldn't even say concentration. Alright, so readings indicate that these are cryogenic blasters. They are not lethal, but any contact will significantly slow your progress. Okay. Oh, so we gotta kinda oop. Not do that, that's for sure. Okay, so I think we gotta reset this thing. Okay, so let's wait for it to turn on and then we go closer and then zoom. Wait, zoom. Oh, that was close. I almost psyched myself out there. Okay, good. Yeah, we did it. Back to the outpost. Am I really gonna have to walk all the way back again to that guy? Okay, good. There's a better teleport. Why don't you just teleport me there? Normally, why do I have to get teleported all the way to the other spot? Right. Dash tech appears to be functioning perfectly. Wonderful. Please keep the tech. That's a token of my thanks. I also have other prototypes that need testing, so come and see me again when you're ready. Cool. Okay. Jump starting development. I've been working on a new piece of tech that enables the user to perform a jump in midair, allowing them to reach incredible new heights. Unfortunately, I require a few more components. Before I can finish. Could you bring me 10 silver bars? Oh, uh, I don't, yeah, I don't have 10 silver bars. Oh no, I only have two. Oh no, uh, well at least I have this. Okay, um, let's see, what was I gonna do? Uh, I have seven manipulator modules. Oh, right. How, much, how many do I need to actually upgrade this thing? Is it eight? Oh man, I need one more. Oh, I can do this one. Increase, the eff increase effective manipulator range by two tiles. That's interesting. Enable the collection of liquids using excavation mode. That's only three. This one's 12. Increase the area of effect to three by three tiles. Wow, that's cool. I kind of want the power generation first because um, I can break blocks faster and I feel like that's the most useful uh, early on anyway. What is this? Ursa what? The lost teddy. My little dipper <laughs> lost his dear teddy bear. I just can't finish setting up shop with him like this. Can you help me get a new teddy bear for him please? Uh, sad. Um, 
I think this says Ursa Minor. That's hilarious. Ursa Minor, M-I-N-O-R, is a constellation um, of a bear. And these guys are minor bears. They mine for ore and stuff. That's, that's clever, something like that. Uh, what's this guy? Frog Furnishing. Ooh. Colony Deed. Place it in an enclosed building with at least one door and light source and someone will move in. Manual for the Colony Deed produced by the Colony Company. 25. I'll buy that. What is this all about? Are you a budding property developer? Do you have a vacant property that could be earning you extra pixels? Don't delay. Become an intergalactic landlord today. Start a colony, renovate an old disused dwelling, or start from scratch with a new construction. Ensure all walls and ceilings are tightly sealed from outside elements with no gaps whatsoever. Install at least one light source and a fully operate, op operable door. Help your colonists to feel at home. It may sound materialistic, but tenants choose their home based on its contents. Stock up on objects that will appeal to your target audience. Stick to co a coherent theme, and you may be able to attract more favorable clientele. Once the home is furnished throughout, it's time to place that all-important colony deed somewhere inside, available now from your local furniture store. For easy troubleshooting, every colony deed is fitted with a full-color display that will keep you informed of your tenant's every need and remind you to collect your rent as soon as it becomes available. Happy tenants can become friends for life. It's your responsibility as a landlord to protect your tenants from harm. If you choose to assist them with errands, you may be handsomely rewarded. Happy colonizing. Oh, cool. It's kind of like the, the colony update in No Man's Sky. Like, they literally had a full-on update just for that. That's neat. Okay. That guy just totally jumped off the cliff. Can you? Ow, see? Why do I take damage and they don't? That's not fair. Okay. Now, we need to go talk to the to quest person. Huh? Leela? From Futurama? Is that you? That's hilarious. That's that's funny. She totally looks like Leela. Okay. Let's go. Let's keep going. Uh, let's go. Friendly stranger. Can't chat. Running errands. You don't appear to be doing anything. Hmm? Oh, I wanna... Mm -hmm. What is this? Mech assembly station. No way! This game has mechs? What? That's so cool. Okay, let's, uh... <laughs> let's not get sidetracked here. Dash. Dash. Dash up the stairs. Dash down the stairs. Woo! That's cool. Ooh. This dude is juggling planets. What? Is that's the thing that destroyed Earth, isn't it? Look at that. It's like tentacle type monster attacking planets. What? Ah. Oh, okay. Hello, dear. Is that a matter manipulator you're carrying? Excellent. So you're a protector. I guess. I didn't graduate, but... I mean, I kind of did. I'm sorry to say, perhaps the last, after the, the terrible destruction of Earth. That is actually quite sad. It's sadly inevitable that we should meet now. It, it seemed very downplayed, but I guess, you know... My name is Esther Bright, retired grand protector. I guess, uh, you know... Humans are scattered all over the universe now, so... I left some years ago as an impossible decision, but my research could not be neglected. I discovered things long forgotten that weigh heavily on the present. Cue dramatic music. Long ago, there was a force known as the Cultivator. It maintained balance in the universe. That's that juggling dude. Under its influence, harmony reigned. So it was for eons. Eons, it would be with just an E. But this tranquility pro pro proved finite. A being rose, one of hate and destruction. It was the ruin. The ruin could not abide life in any form and reaped destruction upon the universe. 
Okay, so the thing that attacked Earth was the ruin. It fought to blot out all life and would have succeeded, but, but for the sacrifice of the cultivator. The cultivator rose against the ruin and succeeded in sealing it away. But in doing so, the cultivator exhausted its power completely. Were its last energies dissipated, the cultivator gifted six chosen races with precious artifacts. These six artifacts, when united, formed the key that opened the gate to the ruin. Fences are, crum are crumbling. We must unite the artifacts, reach the ruin, and truly destroy it. Sounds like Lord of the Rings. This is a lot to take in, dear, and a huge request to make of you, but I would like your help. The artifacts are scattered across the stars. I can't find them alone. I must find them and eradicate the ruin before other planets go the way of the Earth. Okay. Well, there you go. The plot thickens. Thank you for joining me, dear. With your help, I know we can triumph. Okay. First things first, though, dear. Stop calling me dear. You need a ship in good working order. Who knows? For, uh, what? Who knows how far you'll have to travel before we're done. I think you should return to the outpost and speak to Penguin Pete, the shipyard captain. Okay. Did you give me something? Ooh. Okay. love that. What did I get? Oh, manipulator magic. <gasps> I have eight now. Goodbye. I have eight. I can upgrade. This is so exciting. See you later, juggling dude. Well, this dash thing is uh, potentially useful, but double tapping is kind of Laborious. Okay, here's that dude. The er Urshius Mining Facility. Okay. I have received the coordinates of the Urshius Mining Facility. If you return to the ship, you can teleport there using my mission interface. Okay. I can repair that ship, but it's going to take 20 Urshius crystals. You'd better get yourself over to the Urshius Mining Facility. I've sent the location coordinates to your ship's sail. I don't know why I gave him a tiny little bit of a different voice, but whatever. It is what it is, Penguin Pete. One day I'm going to do a full playthrough or something, and I'm going to do voices for everybody. <laughs> okay, what is this? Um, Alright, dude. Let's go. Let's go. Do I want uh, to do the thing first for this guy? I feel like I want to get the silver first. So I can get the jump thingy. I think we should do that before we go to the mining facility. That sounds dangerous. Oak, uh, do I want to put stuff away? Um, let's see. So yeah, I made... Oh, okay, so each silver ore requires... Sorry. Yeah, each silver bar requires two silver ore. So, yeah, and I currently have um, two silver bars and no ore. Okay, so let's go back down to the planet. Let's mine some silver. Yeah, ooh. This is going to be bad this time. I feel like it's... Yeah. <laughs> It was it was long overdue to be very honest, long overdue. Okay, so let's dig into this. Uh, you know what? You don't need to dig in. There's a little entrance down here. Let's go um, this way. Torches. Now I don't actually know what silver looks like, but I guess we'll find out. Uh, too big. Can't fit. Okay. 
Uh, this doesn't look explorable. So let's keep going this way. Water here. Oh, it's uh, there's copper there. Take that. Can I breathe? Yeah, I can breathe. I can breathe here. Oh, I forgot to upgrade my manipulator module. Oh no. Okay. Oh uh, wait, I can do it. I can. I don't have to be. I can just do it on the fly. What am I talking about? Okay, so here we go. Power generation. Power generator. Boom. It's done. Is it done? Can I break stuff faster? Oh yeah, look at that. That's so much better. So now, I can literally just dig straight down. That actually... It's not something that you would normally do in Minecraft, but in this game... Oh my god, this is so much better. Uh, we should probably put torches along the way, maybe. Just so we can kind of see a little. There's one of those things over there. Alright, well, we have to. You know, we have to. We don't have to, but I want to. It's kind of a pain. Actually, this might lead to a better cave. Um, this is cool. <laughs> Literally Minecraft in 2D. And I know Terraria... Um, I never actually played Terraria, to be honest. I really should. Is this bad? Oh, no, it's good. I really should. And I know this game is very similar to Terraria, but um, I kind of like the idea of, you know, hungry. Um, I like the idea of, of this being in space, because I love space games. I have fish, right? Cook? I don't know. Where, where's that? I thought I had... Oh, right, here we go. Cook fish. Uh, campfire. Where's my campfire? Where? 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 I always forget where stuff is. That down right here, and let's, let's make some poultry. Let's boil, boil this rice too, because I'm probably gonna have to eat both. And let's go. Where is it? I swear I'm gonna figure this out. Okay, here we go. Cook poultry. Rice. That's, that's good enough. Okay. Got. Oh, we got a dude over here. doesn't seem like this is going down. Oh, you know what? Oh, uh, I mean, you can continue down from there, but it's probably better to just stick to the same mine shaft that I've been digging. And honestly, I don't even know what I'm looking for, looks-wise. Like, I know I mined some silver already, but that was a complete fluke. I have no idea. I don't remember when I mined it, and I don't remember what it looks like. So I'm just going to dig down until I start finding some good stuff. And, ooh, is that a mine shaft? What is that? It seems to be some sort of... Whoa, camp or something. Oh, is this the place that I was before? Okay, wait, let's check. Maybe there's some silver in here. Maybe that's where I found the silver last time. Did I loot all these already? Have I been here? I feel like I've been here. I've just totally been here. Okay. Well, this is at least an easier way to get down. Yeah, I've totally been here. Oh, this is that place where all the fish were. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, see? Here's my torches. Okay. Alright. Well... Uh, I do believe there was a way down, I remember, and I completely ignored it last time. Oh, you know what? I'm not putting these on the background. I'm trying to put them... I'm totally pressing on background. So, I believe there was a way down right here. What is that? Is that coal over there? Oh, what is this? Oh god, I did it again. I'm shooting at the walls. That's coal, I think. This is so much faster now. I 
I love it. Uh, oh, there's some of the walls too. Okay, that's good. And yeah, I already looted that. So let's go down this way. I remember you. You're still here? You were there last time, weren't you? Ow, man! Okay. No, that's not good. Oh, dude. Take this! Snap! Snap! Uh, yeah, you should probably continue putting... What are those? Uh, I think that's just the ground. <laughs> okay. So I don't think I've been down here. Oh, he's split into... Oh, no, he just... These are causing me some trouble. Ah, let's heal. And while we're healing, let's look in these boxes. Oh, bomb! There we go. See? This is what I'm talking about. Oh, and I can totally put it on my... Uh, why do I need two hands to hold torches? I don't know. I guess one hand to hold and one to place. So let's put the bombs there. Hopefully I don't accidentally use one when I'm trying to heal. Maybe that's a bad idea, to be honest with you. Um, how do I get rid of something? There we go. Let's put it here. Yeah. Okay. What else we got? Nothing, nothing. Ooh. Manipulator module. Hook that up. Campfire there. Much more crates. It would be nice if I just found some full on iron bar, or sorry, uh, what are they called? Silver bars straight up inside this, inside these things. Yay, silver ore, there we go. Oh, there was four there. Nice. Okay, so that's two, so I need. Oh man, again? Ah. You guys are breaking my chain of my train of thought. Uh so I need I needed eight. So I need sixteen. I have four. Ooh, what is this? Throwing dart. Oh man. Okay, I gotta get down there and deal with him. Let's... Ow! What? I was about to say let's heal first. And then he jumped up here. Like when I least suspected it. Why why did this Okay. Uh can I put these in the right thing? There we go. That's cool. Jump down. Oh yeah, more manipulator modules. I can actually get that other upgrade. Oh man, can't see in here. That was probably not not necessary. Take all more iron. Give me, this, give me these silver. I need silver. Okay, so I'm gonna take this torch back. I don't need them in both places. Flares. Flares are good. Iron, that's nice, but not something I need right now. Upgrade module. I think I have one of those. Okay. Hello. Ah! It's so weird. Okay. Somebody coming. More bombs. I don't want to see what these things are like, to be honest. Let's throw a bomb down here. Right click. <laughs> uh oh, I think I made him mad. Wow, that did some damage. Oh man, I forgot to heal. It would be so bad if that guy killed me. Okay, let's heal. And 
while we're healing, uh, I should probably something. Maybe. Let's see. Do I have any food? I cooked. Yeah, the popcorn. Yeah. And that's good for now. So, let's see. I really hope uh, that I'm not missing any silver. Walking around here. Mm. Ow. Who saw that coming? <laughs> I didn't. Get in this box here. Oh, I gotta turn off the light. Ah, what's this? Ooh, Teklaki Howl Knife. It's a dagger. I don't know if that's gonna be something that I wanna use. What's this? Hard hat headwear. Hard hat is hard and hat. Right. Do I wanna wear that? Oops. It's slot. I think it's just a. Uh, it's just aesthetic. It's not actually going to protect me. Maybe, I don't know. Uh, maybe I should, oh, I was just going to say, maybe I should heal. And there's a tent right here. So that would have been a huge waste. Okay, come on. Give me the, whoa. I already took that. Oh, what's this? Point 0.9 damage per shot, rate of fire 7.4, energy per shot 2.8. This sounds like a rapid fire thingy here. Is it a two-hander? No, it's one-handed. Oh, that sounds cool. What's this? Uh, Necrolix Perfect Cutter. Short sword. 3.1, rate of fire 2. Oh, man. Okay, I'm finding some cool stuff down here. Let's see. Oh, oh man, that's awesome. I love it. Oh, that's so cool. That made me very happy. <laughs> oh, dude, that's awesome. I think it's way better than the other gun I have. Oh, I can't wait to try that out. Uh, maybe I should put my campfire down and cook some of that meat. Come on, heal up. Heal up, heal up, heal up. Here we go. Uh, campfire. It's making that little hoppity hop sound. Where's my campfire? See, it always happens. It always happens. Wait. I did pick it up, right? Oh, maybe I didn't pick it up. I left it somewhere. Uh, where did I put it? Fine, I'll just make another one. Uh, crafting. Campfire. Okay. Yeah, that's here. I left it somewhere. Well, that's irresponsible. I left a, a burning fire unattended. Okay, so... Let's cook this. Make both of them. Uh, this tomato, I think I've had this tomato for a while. I should probably cook it. Let's cook everything, to be honest. How much popcorn is in there? Okay. I'm full on food now. I've prepared food. So let's eat. Let's see uh, what is going to go bad first. It should stay fresh for a while. Stay fresh for a while. Everything's good. Stay fresh. Okay, let's just eat this. Be good enough for now. Okay. So, uh, see, I'm doing it again. I'm doing it again. I'm leaving the campfire. Don't do that. Bad. Okay, let's go down here without killing ourselves. Some bones there. What 
tayo. Let's end up letting me... Okay. Why can't I... Okay, there we go. <laughs> it's like, why can't I break the ground? How far down do you have to go for silver? I don't even know. Oh, that's... Not safe. Uh, ooh, there's some coal. So, see, here's the thing. I feel like um, I should be ending this episode now, but... Ooh, throwing bones and cotton bones. But there's just so much more I want to do. I just don't want it to end. Look at all that. Look at all that. Yeah. Give me that coal. I mean, iron, copper. I can't... I don't know what I'm mining. <laughs> so weird to you. Oh, clay. That's new. Uh, what? Why are you not letting me... Oh, there's so many bones here. Look at all these. What? Okay, we're starting to get into some... Oh, God. Yeah, that's bad. We're starting to get into some interesting territory here. Oh, dude, you could build stairs like that. Oh, that's janky, though. Oh, my God. Ow! How dare you? Okay, who did that? Who did that? Okay, let's, let's just do it the classic way. Wow, it's dark. Oh, there it is, there it is. Oh, God, oh, God. Done. Take that. Dude. Do not run backwards. Oh my goodness. The cave is changing. Okay, I really need to light this place up. There's still a bad guy over here. Somewhere. Oh. That was close. Okay. Yeah. Take that. I can shoot projectiles too. This, uh, this gun is cool, but it takes a lot of shots to kill stuff. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh man, I don't like what I did here. Let's uh, break that. It just looks really not good. Let's get these back. There we go. Okay, so there's more coal over there. I think I'm good on coal, to be honest. I just need to just focus. What did I just do? What did I just do? Uh, there's something over here. There's a bridge. Water. Oh, man. It's dark down here. Like, this is more realistic than Minecraft. In Minecraft, if you're in a if you're in a cave, like deep down, you can still see. When in really, in actuality, you should not be able to see. What is that? Is that just gonna be plant fibers? That is a lot of coal. Oh my god. This is plant fiber. Um, so this is much more realistic because. Yeah, you would not be able to see. It would be pitch black. In fact. Okay. I was kind of hoping. Okay. Hello. Want some of this? Oh yeah, I have those throwing darts too. That could be useful. Okay, I really need to end the episode here. I'm going to stop here and I'm going to pick up again. But uh, we will see you guys in the next one. Hope you're enjoying the series as much as I'm enjoying making it. And we'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.